to this special Christmas edition of Stories of Faith. Today's story is, What is Christmas? It's Christmas Eve and the youth group is about to go present a special Christmas program. Let's zoom in and listen. But I know what the Bible says, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, or something like that. But well, we always call him Jesus, right? And I know that it says somewhere, and he called his name Jesus. Jordan, Maisie, don't argue. But I'm quite sure I'm right. I read it in the Bible. But I know that I'm right. I read it too. I know how we can find out who's right, girls. Get your Bibles. I got my Bible. Me too. Macy, you flip to Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. And Jordan, flip to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Macy, you read aloud yours. Then Jordan, you can read yours. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated, God with us. Jordan? And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So I guess we're both right then. Friends again? Yes, friends again. Miss Lee, books down her special music violin piece now. It's our turn. Great, Travis. Okay, everyone, we have to go on the stage now. Taya, Savannah, you're up first. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Our youth group presents What is Christmas? for our special Christmas Eve program. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> what is Christmas? What is the first thing that comes to mind? Frosty the snowman, a red-nosed reindeer, Santa Claus? But what is the real meaning of Christmas? Well, there's way more to it than just your Christmas presents and Santa Claus. Let's ask some kids what they think the real meaning of Christmas is. What do you think is the real meaning of Christmas? That Jesus was born. Now let's go back to about 2,000 years, to the time of Caesar Augustus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman Empire, and everyone was to go to their hometown to register. Joseph and his pregnant fiancée Mary went to Bethlehem, the town of David, to register, because Joseph was from the line of David. When they arrived, there was no room for them and Mary was going into labor. Excuse me, pardon me. Please, does anybody know there is a room? My wife is about to go into labor. You could try that in down the road. Turn left and you will see a wall. Turn right and then you should see an inn. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me, do you have any rooms? Sorry, but we're full. Please, my wife is about to have a baby. I'm so sorry about that, but maybe the next inn might have some room. Mm, the baby, he's coming. Excuse me, do you have any rooms? Can't you see the sign? We've run out of space. Good night. Joseph, the baby. I know, dear. There's no rooms in the entire town. This is the last inn. they got to have some rooms here. What do you want? I have no room. Please, kind sir. My wife is about to go into labor. Mm, the baby. Well, I don't have any room in this inn, but there is a stable up back that you are welcome to stay in. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so it was in the stable that Jesus was born. Meanwhile, in the field, some shepherds were watching over their sheep. Father, I am so glad you let me come stay with you and other shepherds out in the fields today. I do appreciate your company. Have you noticed how unusually quiet and peaceful it is today? Yes, it's so calm today. The sheep are quietly sleeping. All of a sudden, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. Father, Father, it's so bright. What's happening? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. 
Suddenly a host of angels appeared and praised God. When the angels left, Praise the Lord! The Messiah has come! The Messiah! Father, I've waited so long for this! May we go and see him? Yes, let's go to Bethlehem and find the baby which the Lord has told us about. Come, let us hurry! The shepherds hastily went to Bethlehem and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby. They knelt beside the manger and worshipped him. When Jesus was eight days old, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple to be circumcised. Now there was an old man named Simon. He was a just and devoted man who was waiting for the Messiah. The Holy Spirit had revealed to him that he would live to see the Messiah. He was inspired by the Spirit to go to the temple. And when Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple, Simon took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Now there was an old prophetess named Anna. When she saw Jesus, she gave thanks to God and spoke of him to everyone she met. Praise God, the Messiah has come! The Messiah? Yes, the Messiah. He has come at last to bring redemption to the world. The Messiah has come. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Messiah. Seriously? The Messiah? That old woman is crazy. I don't know. Maybe the Messiah has really come. The Messiah has come, Lord. You have let me witness the Redeemer. Thank you. Now from far away, wise men came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. Do you know where we can find him? King of the Jews? You mean Herod? No, not Herod. A new king, the Messiah. We saw his star and we came to worship him. There is no new king here. But there has to be. When King Herod heard about it, he was very upset. My chief advisor, what do you think about this new king? This so-called messiah well my king speak up speak up well where do you think the messiah will be born um in the scriptures the prophet micah said that he would be born in the town of bethlehem of judea in the town of bethlehem of judea Rubbish. Call the chief priests and we'll have them tell us where their Jewish king will be born. Chief priest, tell me, where is this Messiah of yours to be born? In Israel of Bethlehem of Judah. For it is written by the prophet, um, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. You are dismissed. A ruler who will shepherd my people? No one will take my kingdom away from me. Nobody. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and asked them about the star. When did you first see this star? And the unsuspecting wise men answered all his questions. Why would you come from a faraway kingdom to Jerusalem, my kingdom, to worship this other king? We have been studying the stars for many years. But just recently, we noticed a very bright star, one we have never seen before. Yes, the colors are brilliant. 
and very different from the other stars we have studied. Do you think that this new king is to be born in Bethlehem? Certainly. And do you think he is already born? The prophets suggest it. Then he sent them to Bethlehem. Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for this child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I can go and worship him too. Then the wise men set out for Bethlehem, following the star. At last the wise men came to the place where Mary, Joseph, and the baby were staying, and they worshipped him. We have come to worship the newborn king, and I bring a gift of pure gold. Here is my humble gift to the king of kings, frankincense. I bring a gift of myrrh to the newborn king. That night, the wise men were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their own country by another route. Meanwhile, at the palace... Where are those wise men? Where have they gone? How dare they disobey my orders? Servant, send for the general. Yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. You have sent for me? Go to Bethlehem and all the towns surrounding it and put to death every male child two years old or younger. But my king! Do as I say, or I'll have your head. Yes, your majesty. You are dismissed. No one will take my kingdom away from me. That night, an angel appeared to Joseph. Take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. With that, the angel left. Mary, Mary, wake up. (laughs) Joseph, what's wrong? Don't wake the baby. Mary, we have to leave and go to Egypt. An angel came and told me that Herod is searching for the baby to kill him. King Herod? Yes, now let's hurry. Get the baby and we'll leave. So Joseph, Mary, and Jesus fled to Egypt. They had scarcely traveled over a few miles when Herod's soldiers reached the small town of Bethlehem. No man dared to disobey Herod's orders. Then it was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah, the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Raham, lamentations, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they were no more. Mary followed what the angel told her. Joseph followed what the angel told him. And from then on, Jesus also followed what his Father in heaven told him. And that's the Christmas story of Jesus, also known as Emmanuel, which means God with us, who was and is and will always be with us. Let's thank Savannah, Travis, Brooke, Macy, and Zoe, and all the other children in the youth group for presenting the Christmas story. Who will be next to share the Christmas story with their neighbors and friends and spread the story of Jesus? You can read the Christmas story for yourself in Matthew 1 to 2 and Luke 2 verses 1 to 15. This episode was written by Hannah Kwan, sound designer James Neomugabo, produced by Stories of Faith. Voice actors included James Ann, Ariana Jones, Elliot Ann, Matthias Hogater, Joshua Simpson, Emily McCochran, Lauren Wan, Laura Laposi, Ethan Mavundra, Vanessa Dorbantu, Isaiah Macon, Tendisai Jura, and Abigail Klein. Until next time, goodbye.